Um, about two years ago, uh, I made a video showing my very rare Clean Easy Rotalk Cyclone 1000A, the very first production Dyson vacuum cleaner, which is this one here. A little while later, I managed to acquire one of these, which is a G-Force. Um, this is a revised version of this one that was manufactured uh, under license by a company called Apex in Japan for their market. And I promised uh, to do a video uh, comparing and contrasting the two, which is what uh, we're going to do here. Um, it's a pretty rare uh, opportunity to see these two together, because this one I only know of about four in existence in the world. Um, and these were $2,000 US, only sold to Japan. And this one's travelled many thousands of miles to be with this one. So here goes. Looking at the G-Force first, as you haven't seen it uh, before, you'll notice uh, that I've got the original manual and a belt removal tool and a spare belt for it. This is actually a brand new vacuum cleaner um, which I imported from Japan, bought from a kind of proxy bidding auction site um, and it has never been used. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I've even got the uh, the box for it as well somewhere. Okay, so I've now got the two cleaners together and we can start to compare the Cyclon on the right and the G-Force on the left with each other. Uh, first you'll notice that the G-Force uh, has a lilac coloured bumper strip round it, more like later a proper Dyson vacuum cleaners and the Cyclon doesn't. Um, there's a, in addition a lavender coloured lever which is a pile height adjuster. Um, I'll show you the mechanism underneath it. Right, you can see with the G-Force here that it's got a proper uh, metal sole plate um, on it, not unlike a DC-15 ball. Um, and there's an extra set of wheels and those are what are controlled by the lever that I showed you uh, on the top of the cleaning head and by pivoting those uh, that either raises or lowers the cleaning head. The Cyclone, the earlier machine, obviously is much more vulnerable with nothing much uh, to protect it. Um, hence most of them having probably met a sticky end. If we now look at the bin section, a few things to notice. Firstly, although it's not opaque if you like, it's a very very dark tint on the plastic. Um, James Dyson's idea uh, of having the dust visible didn't meet with universal approval to say the least. Um, so that was obviously a compromise to have a dark tint where you can see the dust but not see it too much. You've also got quite a high fill level and you'll notice as well that there's no shroud on the cyclone. If we move over to the G-Force You haven't got a clear bin as you would have on a proper Dyson, but it's much lighter than on the Cyclone. You've got a lower fill level uh, as well, um, and it does have a shroud as you would see on a proper Dyson to obviously separate out the larger particles of dust. Um, and obviously, this is indicative of ongoing development um, and problems with clogging and so forth on the original machine. The next thing to look at is the post motor filtration or lack of it. As you can see on the cyclone here is a very simple metal mesh filter and an even more basic plastic one uh, on the G-Force. Uh, electrically the G-Force is 125 volts uh, for the Japanese market 2 pin plug uh, whereas the cyclone is normal 230 volts for the UK market. Uh, we can see some development uh, in the ridges at the bottom which are the, for the tool fitment which are obviously weak and they've come up with a solid plastic design at the top. Uh, we can see a bit of damage on the cyclone, uh, the wand uh, release is damaged um, and also the cable winder is missing which are intact on the G-Force which is new. Uh, we can see slight differences in the release for the bin which actually pivots upwards 
um, between the two cleaners, the G-Force one being slightly shallower. The tools are pretty much the same, although you'll note that the Cyclone one does have the Cyclone logo imprinted um, on it. So there you have it, two similar but yet different uh, vacuums, the one of them being a development on the other, and you can see uh, the transition uh, towards the proper Dyson. Thanks very much.